All right, so what we're doing now is we're gonna connect this flag into this bag. Inside, we have a three ring system. Basically, it's a cutaway system. Typical three rings, large, medium, small. And it goes the other direction. All right. Up underneath the stove. The stove makes it so it will stay, so it doesn't come loose in the bag. Large, medium, small, up, over, and around. Okay, flip it, three ring system, put the wire through the cable. And again, this is your typical three ring system, just like on your risers. The only thing is we do here is I use stoves so it doesn't come loose or wiggle out. All right, so that's the first part of that. You undo the rest of the cable. All right. Okay, with that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a different type of roll. This roll, this dice, this fold is a roll. And it's just one on top of the other, similar to the S-fold, but it's different from the S-fold because it's all compressed into one thing. I've not had any problems with it. You can see the creases on the flag from before, so we're just gonna follow those creases. nice and neat. One person can do this. I just use a weight on one side when I go to the other. So then when I'm there, when I pull it tight, then the weight stays on one side and I pull the other. And we just keep Okay, on this last one, what we're going to do is bring this to the center of the flag, up over the top, and into the center. Now, this is where it gets fun. I do it one way, which is I put the weight on top of the flag. You can also remove the weight. Remove the weight, either here or here, and then pull it back without the weight. But I do it like this. This way then, I do check this, make sure they're tight. Obviously, the more anything more than finger tight. From here, set the bag up. S fold the lanyard inside to where it's not going to get knotted up. All right, and then from there, what I do is I pull and put in. Line the bag. Now, some flags and bags, you're gonna have a tight fit. This is not a tight fit. This bag is made for two flags, two or even possibly three. So this is a light, a light load inside that bag. Again, making sure you're stacking it into the corners like you would a normal canopy. Now remember, this is upside down, so the weight goes in on top. Because when we flip it, the weight will be on the bottom. Okay. That's inside the bag. Remember now, this is upside down. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna sew it. When you say sew, it's similar to what the old wingsuits used to have. Top, bottom, goes from bottom to the top one. The same thing, you just keep sewing alternate. Around the corner.
no foreskin. I'm gonna have to edit that part out because of uh <laughs> Cross and corner. There you go. Good job. I mean, this looks self explanatory, but you've never done it, you don't know about it. Like I said, bottom top, top bottom, bottom to the top, then top to the bottom. Same thing. All these bags that you're looking at, this bag right here is made by Nathan Taylor and it's Taylor Made Company. All right, these are the leg straps. Basically, once this goes around you, all I do now is since I don't know the length or whatever you're going to use it on, you just secure them. The same thing for the belly strap. Okay, so now when you flip it over, you got flag on top of it, weight on the bottom. And then when you deploy it, when you pull that cable, deploy, the flag, the weight comes out and the flag follows it. To get rid of it, in case you have an emergency or once you're on the ground, to get rid of it, it's a cutaway system here that's part of the three-way. Pull this all the way up and it connects, disconnects the lanyard from the three-ring system and your ground crew can pick it up. That's it. Pretty simple, pretty quick.